An unimaginable ordeal for Sydney schoolgirl Madeline Pulver has finally come to an end. In August last year, a man chained a fake bomb around the teenager's neck along with a note demanding money. Today, the teen and her parents were in court as a 51-year-old man pleaded guilty to the extortion attempt. Paul Peters apologised to the Pulver family, but he's left many questions unanswered. The Pulvers say while they're relieved by the guilty plea, they still don't know why Peters picked on them. Here's court reporter Carl Herr. In heavy rain, Madeline Pulver emerged from court with her family after hearing the word they'd been hoping for all along, guilty. I guess I would like to say that we are incredibly pleased with today's outcome. Uh, it is great comfort knowing that Maddie won't have to endure the stress and anxiety of um, reliving the events of uh, that terrible night. Paul Peters walked into Madeline Pulver's bedroom one afternoon armed with a baseball bat and wearing a balaclava. The device attached to her neck with a bicycle lock carried a note warning it contained powerful new technology plastic explosives. She managed to call her father and when police arrived at the Mossman home she was hysterical. It wasn't until midnight that bomb experts confirmed it was a fake. Peters was tracked down in the United States less than a fortnight later. Mr Peters deeply regrets and is profoundly sorry for the impact that this incident has had on Miss Pulver and her family. The ransom note read, For the avoidance of any doubt, I am a former Special Forces Green Beret munition specialist and have constructed such devices for over 20 years. So, act now, think later, or you will inadvertently trigger a tragically avoidable explosion known in the American Armed Forces as a Brian Douglas Wells event. Peters was referring to a man who was killed in the United States in 2003 when a collar bomb detonated after a bank robbery. Bill Pulver says he still holds out some hope that Paul Peters himself will one day answer the biggest remaining question about what happened here last August. Why? We're delighted that he's been pleading guilty. That's uh, a wonderful development. If we could get a rational explanation for his behaviour, that would be a terrific amount of closure for us. Paul Peters will be sentenced on the charge of aggravated break and enter and detained for advantage later this year. Carl Herr, ABC News.